Hello everyone. Today is January sixteenth,、uh, Monday, but it's Martin Luther King Day, King Junior Day, so it's a day off. Let's take a look at、uh, this today's lead code challenge, which is this one here. So lead code has daily challenge.、Uh, today it's a classic, old, very old problem.、Um, probably in the first year of lead code that、uh, this problem exists,、uh, just based on its、uh, problem number fifty seven. So let's take a look at this problem. It's good to refresh on the basics.、Um, you're given an array of non-overlapping intervals, so intervals, over non-overlapping intervals, and sort it by based on the start, based on the start time. So one is smaller than six, and they are not overlapping each other. And then what we are tasked to do is to insert a new interval into intervals. This is the new interval that we need to insert here, so that the newly resulted interval is still sorted in ascending order by start time, and intervals still do not、uh, overlap each other. Return the intervals after the insertion. The first thing that came into my mind is that since this intervals is Sorted by ascending order, so it's sorted. So the first thing that naturally comes into my mind is binary search. Maybe we can use binary search to speed things up.、Um, but after a second thought,、um, that's I think that's always holds true for most of the cases.、Uh, but given the nature of this problem, because we need to、uh, revisit this every single interval at least once,、um, whether we put that into a new container or Take everything out of the new container back into the、uh, nested array list. We need to visit every single array.、Uh, we need to visit every single element of this interval. So I thought, why not bother binary search? It might speed things up a little bit.、Um, but anyways, we need to go through every single item. So、uh, what I went with、um, is just to、um, lin linearly we visit every single um, item. Um, Well, I might be wrong,、um, since if the interval, the length of the interval, well, this one is very limited; is only ten to the power of four. But if is if the test case is extremely big, like say billions of or trillions of numbers, binary search might make a big difference. Yeah. So binary search, yeah. So I, I'll I'll just correct myself、um, for the, for what it's worth. It should be a binary search will still be a lot faster. But for the sake of this problem and easy demonstration,、um, we、we'll、just linearly visit every single interval here. So the idea is、um, we、we'll、just visit every single interval in the given array list. So first we'll check if、um, the beginning one, if the start index of every single interval, is. Well, actually, the ending index of every single interval is smaller than the beginning index. If that is the case, we know that this entire interval is not overlapping with this. Not this case, but this case, for example, one two is not overlapping with the new interval four eight. So we'll put one and two into the result container first. So that's first step. Second step, once we encounter. An existing an existing interval that overlaps with the newly to be inserted interval. What we can do is that we'll keep updating the new interval itself, so that we'll keep expanding this new interval to have the、uh, smallest index to the left to as left as possible, and then the ending index to the right as right as possible. That's the second phase. Third phase is that we've expanded this new interval big enough, wide enough, so anything else that is still remaining from the original given interval, we will just add that into the result container. So the third phase is all right.、Uh, let's put that into action. So first,、uh, what I want is to have a container.、Um, This collection, for example, list interface, makes it easy to、um, add to add anything、um, into this list. And then, what we'll do is we'll have an index called i, while i smaller than well, let's keep a length 
and intervals length while i smaller than n and intervals i so what we just said is i's ending index that is one if it's smaller than new interval is zero what we will do is we'll just keep adding it into intervals i then so at this point what what we have found is at this point what we have found is i smaller than at this point what we have discovered is all of those intervals that don't overlap with the new interval and then at this point we need to update we encountered the overlapping part so we need to update uh, intervals um, if if i smaller than new interval yeah if um, so in this case if intervals if this the current intervals beginning index is still smaller than the new intervals ending index or equal what we can do is we'll just just keep updating this new interval what we want is so we want as small as possible for oops for the beginning index uh, beginning index and as big as possible for the ending index so that is intervals i and zero and new interval zero and here is intervals i one and new interval one so this is the second phase we have keep we have kept expanding the current interval basically merge all of the overlapping intervals with the new interval and the existing uh, intervals and then in the end if there's still anything from the original um, over uh, from the original um, intervals that still hasn't been merged yet what we'll do is oh so after that we want to add it back we want to add this new interval into list and then list add we want to keep expanding intervals i plus plus okay so in the end what we can do is to array we get the size new int size of the array and then one more well we don't need this curly bracket what we want is this we need to know the dimension the size because uh, this ID is pretty slow okay now let me just uh, believe it should be right so now let me just run this we'll see how it goes time limit exceeded because I forgot to increase it that's right we need to increment it here and then also I need to increment it here otherwise it's going to run into time limit exceeded exception right it's still wrong what is the error oh two five interesting min it was expecting oh that I got it wrong I don't really see why let me just move this one down a little bit see if that's hmm let me try run this one more time and see oh i see so i shouldn't do increment i here oh that is because right after it checks this condition it's going to in have i incremented so uh, if that's the case right now it's going to go um, check the following um, interval instead of the current one so i should definitely put i here and i is being incremented here instead of here so that is all correct uh, yeah i is being incremented here so let me uh, this one is accepted now let me just uh, uh, oh it's pretty slow now let me hit submit it's running accepted all right um yeah so this is the problem so uh, if we just um 
approach this problem in a very linear way when whenever we in so basically three phases whenever we encounter so we go through the existing intervals first if the end one if the ending index of the current interval that we're going through doesn't overlap is still smaller than the beginning index of the new interval we'll just add everything into this container but if we encounter anything that uh, the the current interval in the given interval list that overlaps with the new interval we will just keep expanding the new interval you see what we do here is that we keep updating this new interval um, and then at the end we'll just add this updated expanded interval into the new into the container and and in the last phase we will check if there's still any remaining interval that couldn't be merged with the new interval we'll add them into here yeah that's that's it that's the entire algorithm so hopefully it makes sense if you guys uh, like this video please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help a lot with the youtube algorithm and i really appreciate it also feel free to drop me a comment uh, subscribe um, if you haven't done that already i'll see you guys in the next one